hello beautiful like how you doing today last night when i saw you your aura really blessed my spirit hold up with all that sir okay just say hi <laughs> guys and welcome back to my channel and if this is the first time you're seeing this face I'm Natisha hi and this is everything Nat, a space for both men and women looking to grow and thrive mentally physically emotionally spiritually all that good stuff because we want to glow up and be shopping in every aspect of our lives right so today I want to get into the topic of overcoming Fear. I ain't scared of nothing. I ain't never scared. Really, boo? You's a lie. But on a serious note, whether it's fear in relationship, entrepreneurship, businesses, basically fear when it comes to attaining your dreams and goals in life, no matter what avenue that is in. First of all, let's take a little bit of a look of what exactly fear is. Fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief, whether valid or not, that something or someone is dangerous, likely to cause harm or pain. Now, when I say fear, it's not always going to present itself as in, oh my god, no, it's not always going to present itself like that. Some sneaky kind of subtle ways that fear can present itself in our lives is simply in procrastination overthinking over planning delaying until it's perfect or even basically giving yourself a bunch of talking points that pros and cons as to why you should take this less great thing because of how safe it may seem you know what i'm saying all those things are ways and little ways that fear can present itself now i came across this acronym which is basically F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. That is so true because most times, especially when it comes to relationships, business ventures, and things of that nature, most of the fears and apprehensions that we have are basically false evidences appearing real, okay? For example, you see that cute guy over there, you wanna holla, but you, in your mind, you're like, mm, he probably had a girlfriend. Oh no, he probably don't like me. I'm a little bit too short. Mm, maybe he don't even like girls that wear weave and stuff like that. Mm. Oh, maybe, maybe he played for the other team. Like, and you're there dissecting his outfit, his shoes, and assuming that guys that wear this type of shoes and position their feet just that way probably won't be interested in you. When homeboys probably sitting over there and being like, I'm kind of shy, but I really wish this girl would just come and say hi so I can like get this thing moving. You know what I'm saying? Or, and when it comes to business, maybe you have this super dope idea. You ha have the idea for this new invention that, I don't know, say a hair cream that when you rub it on, like for guys that are bald, and like when you rub it on their scalp, like it immediately starts to implant like new hair follicles or something. I don't know, I don't know. But you have this super dope idea for something, but you think, oh, there's Rogaine, there's hair implants, like why they gonna want my little hair cream that implants new follicles? Like, they got other options. The thing is, every dream and idea and goal that you have has been given to you for a reason and you shouldn't sleep on that, sis. Now, not every idea and dream that you have will necessarily be for you, for you, for you to grow and build that. Maybe it's an idea for you to give to somebody else for them to grow and build into something. But every dream and idea and passion is something that you should take into consideration. And a lot of times, especially when a particular dream or idea is our true like passion, it is often met with a lot of fear and apprehension. Before every great thing in life has ever happened, there was a bit of doubt and second guessing. But if we accepted every second guess and doubt as fact, nothing that ever was would have ever been. 
So whenever you feel a little bit of doubt and a little bit of fear, don't take that as precise discouragement and evidence that this is the wrong direction. Take it as your body's response to having to stretch a little bit further than it's used to stepping outside of your comfort zone. How do we overcome fear exactly? Like how do we knock that thing in the teeth? Well, one of my favorite quotes, and I'm gonna get a little early on you now, but one of my favorite quotes is, feed your faith and your fear will starve to death. This is so true in so many ways. Look at your faith as your beliefs things that you believe in say you believe like you have this idea for this amazing clothing brand that they have fabric that no matter what your size is like it will fit you like imagine that's your dream feed your belief that that plan and goal that you have is something substantial and game-changing feed that idea and your doubts worries about that thing actually achieving success will die. Exactly how do we go about that? Mm, it can be a little bit difficult, but just do it. <laughs> like simply, simply, simply just do it. Oh my God, but there's like Fashion Nova, there's like Dolce & Gabbana, there's like from high end to low end to medium end. Like there's so many stores, like who's gonna come by from my little whatever? Stop overthinking it, stop doubting your stuff, stop comparing yourself, oh my God because comparison is the thief of joy. Like, and if you don't have no joy in what you're doing, for sure fear is gonna overrun everything and that dream is gonna completely die. To get a little bit more in detail on it, how exactly do we go about overcoming fear? The first thing that I would suggest is starting small. Sometimes I know it can be extremely difficult to believe in yourself. It's all well and good to have a dream and a goal, but Sometimes when you're surrounded by the noise of doubt and dismay and comparison and all of that, it can be extremely hard to believe that the idea that you have can grow into something great. That's why it's extremely necessary to surround yourself with things and people that can help to build your self-confidence and feed positive into your goals and dreams. For example, things maybe take a screenshot of a post that says if you think it you can achieve it simple little words that will encourage you that hey that dream that's in your mind if you can form it in here it's more than likely that you can form it out here people like does not be a little bit <laughs> somebody gonna get mad at me but if you got a friend that every time you say, oh my God, girl, I want to do this so bad, she like, <laughs> you, girl, you don't even know how to dress and you want to open a clothing store, child, please. Let that friend sit down somewhere, okay? I'm not saying to unfriend them in real life. I'm saying you need to have friend circles. You know the friends that when it comes to talking about your dreams and your goals, they're gonna be like, yes, girl, mm, oh my God, that's an amazing idea, girl, you should. You know the friends that are gonna be like that and those are the ones you should share your dreams and goals with, only those ones. If you know that this particular friend, she good, like if you're crying over your boyfriend, she gonna be there ready to roll up on him and Keep that friend in that conversation bracket. The friends that you know are gonna uplift and build and help you to pursue your dreams, keep them in that conversation bracket. Don't like think, oh, all these people are my friends so they can share all of me. That's not realistic. That's, that ain't ever gonna happen, boo. Or somebody who's already doing what you aspire to do. You can learn from them in some way or the other. Seeing their mistakes, successes will give you encouragement for where you are because let's be honest, the starting point is the best place you can ever be. There's no down, there's only an up. The second thing I would suggest is to start small. For example, have a little book or even if it's like a 
dry erase board that you stick somewhere prominent that you can see every day and you put two to three or four things like it depends on you how many you think you can manage I like to do four that's what I can manage so do a list of your top three or four things even two if that's all you can manage so your top two to four things that you want to achieve in this particular day when when it relates to this particular goal or dream say for example it's in business you know that in order to have a successful business one of the first things you probably need is the business plan or like a visible idea of exactly what it is you want to achieve step two you figure out the name of it like a name that you want to stick to for this particular business number three purchase that LLC or DBA or corporation whatever or even if your goal is weight loss start simple say today I'm gonna to do between one to four things that are gonna set me up for success on this journey whether it's like okay say today I'm gonna to postpone eating until 12 o'clock or uh, my first meal of the day is gonna be a salad or I'm gonna walk for 30 minutes like you choose which one is more suited for you because for some people postponing eating until 12 that's the hardest thing in the world where they can go out and run 10 miles like it's nothing so like you choose what's the simplest one for you and start that way and just start small doing this builds discipline which is actually my third tip building discipline as simple as you may see it setting daily goals builds a pattern of accountability which offers instant gratification as soon as those tasks are completed say for example you're accustomed to eating um, McDonald's breakfast but today you decide I'm gonna eat a salad the decision to do that might be a little bit hard but as soon as you finish eating that salad you're gonna be so proud of yourself that dang sis I didn't eat no McDonald's like you'll be so proud of yourself and just that little bit of gratification will push you towards the next goal and the next goal and the next goal because listen we are human beings and instant gratification and praise is basically what we live for I'm just saying and as we all know constant gratification and positive reinforcement whether it's from the outside or from ourself builds confidence and a sense of belief in yourself and by doing these three things before you know it you would have been feeding your faith constantly and those voices in your head that are filled with negativity and fear and doubt and naysaying will sooner than later die off into the background that sense of I can will become more prevalent and it will become more of a daily reality so this kind of goes full circle because lots of times that attitude of self-doubt and fear and apprehension when it comes to pursuing goals and dreams comes from a lack of confidence in yourself or in your ability so one of the key ways to start overcoming fear is building confidence in yourself or your ability whether it's through like I mentioned taking these little steps towards building self-discipline setting small achievable goals that slowly push you to do things outside of your comfort zone as well as surrounding yourself with things and people that feed the notion that yes you can achieve these goals and these dreams that you have this all ultimately builds your self-confidence and your faith in yourself and your ability to achieve whatever it is you set your mind to feed that train of thought and all the doubts and the unnecessary pressure that you put on yourself and all that oh I can't present that to the world cuz it ain't perfect yet guess what nobody that ever started a business started with the perfect business plan they might think they did but they did it as soon as you push something out there you'll soon realize that there are tweaks that need to be made a little bit of adjusting that needs to be made so the best thing to do is simply do it sis 
do it bruh like what you waiting for the world is waiting for your little bit of greatness so thank you guys so much for watching this video of course if you enjoyed it smash that subscribe button so you can come back for more <laughs> Give me a big fat thumbs up because that's really important that lets me and YouTube know that you're enjoying this type of content. And gang gang, hit that notification bell. See you next time guys. Bye.